Hi guys, welcome and or welcome back to my channel. It is Naya, known as Modest Guru, and today I am reviewing some brand new Ulta Beauty products that I just picked up. One of my favorites I have on right now, these are the Kiss, this is the Foscara um, Cluster Lashes. So if you ever want to look into cluster lashes, KISS have an amazing line and they actually give you a kit that you can buy just to start off and then you can just purchase like whichever style lashes that you would like. This is the, let me show you. This is their special edition multi-pack. It comes with some accent wispies. I'm still very much a single strip girl. But something about clusters where it lasts a little bit longer that just draws me in because I just love a, a quick lash and then one that can last for up to, well, for me, my clusters last for up to a week. I will have to do like a tutorial on how I apply my cluster lashes. Um, and then I love that they give you like extra wispies in case they fall out or I sleep hard on my face. So Sometimes I wake up and they're like bunched together at the end. I'll just like comb them out. But they're still like so cute and convenient. And if my skin is glowing, let me tell you, I recently got a hydro facial done by my girl, Sierra. I will link her Instagram page below in case you're in the Charlotte area and you're looking to get a facial. So I got a hydro facial done. And when I tell you my skin is glowing, I've barely been wanting to wear any makeup just because my skin is like so renewed and it's so gorgeous. As usual, my brows, they're already done. Um, but I did pick up this. I did pick up the Milan. I saw this on a tutorial, the Milan microblading pen. Um, some days I go really light with the pencil, so this may be awesome to just capture like some of my, um, just to add some brow strokes to my eyebrows. So I'm actually going to use the pen today. Um, my brows are already pretty much done, but I want a little bit more color, a little bit more depth. It's called Milan Weekend Brow. So it's an eyebrow tint pencil. And I got this in the shade medium brown. I'll list the pricing of each product either on the screen or below in the, in the description box. Yes, I'm gonna shake it up just so that the product doesn't come out splotchy. It has this very, very fine pointed tip. So that makes great for like micro blading. See it added some definition and color there. I'll keep playing around with it. Um, I'll definitely try to use it with like just a very, very light pencil and then applying this pencil just to kind of see how great this works on my natural brows, which are very, very fine. We'll see. I like the definition now. I like the few strokes that I applied on this brow here. So really love the color payoff so far. I am going to prep my skin because we are actually trying out a brand new foundation. So going in, I'm going to use the Smashbox Photo Finish. Very much a classic. And a very, very small amount goes a long way. So, And plus this product is expensive. We're not even going to play like it's not. 30 plus dollars, 40 dollars, I believe. I'm not sure. Oh, it's so pretty. I love the frosted packaging. This is Morphe's new foundation, Light Form Extended Hydration Foundation. And I picked up the shade Medium 12W. So if you're in a similar shade, this may be a great reference here. I know it's been a lot of talk about Morphe lately, just oh, they're going out of business, things are changing, but apparently they're still making drops. So they could just be minimizing their business, downsizing a lot, um, but it seems like they're still coming out with new releases. They still have new collabs. See, on, even on the packaging, it states that it's a hydrating foundation, which is very much in, and um, it states that it bring, bring your best skin to light. No, <laughs> 
This weightless, long wearing formula floats on to diffuse imperfections instantly with undetectable, buildable medium coverage. Medium coverage, okay. While a hydro relief complex works to improve and maintain skin's moisture, balance, and barrier function over time, clinically proven to hydrate for up to 16 hours. Light form leaves skin with a lasting natural radiance that glows from within. Shake, shake, shake. I'm using a foundation brush that I got off of um, Amazon. I like to buy Amazon brushes because um, a lot of times I will dispose of my brushes after a couple uses. Now let's see what this do. Swatch test. I know it looks a little bit light, but it do ox oxidize a little bit. You probably see it better on this side. Ooh. It's very, I want to say it feels hydrating, like cooling to the skin. And I really like that part, you know. Anytime a foundation feels good when it's applied and it feels very lightweight, I feel like I'm more prone to gravitate to those foundations compared to some of my heavier ones, which I may use like when I know I'm going to be outside for a long time and I need makeup that's going to like last. So it's very, very light for an everyday wear. Okay, this is how it looks once it's applied to the skin. It's light. Like, I can wear this with no uh, concealer because it's, it's doing what it states it will do, which is just elevate your natural skin. So, yeah, and the price point is really good. $20. This, has, this is one fluid ounce, so it's worth traveling with frosted bottle so it's going to look very aesthetically pleasing one of the last morphe foundations that i tried i was not very pleased with the quality of it um and i never went back to it so this one i will pick up on a regular basis just because it's formulated to be very lightweight and i love that just to keep the trend i did not pick up a new um concealer this time so i am going to wear the fenty beauty hydrating concealer and so this is the fenty beauty wear even concealer and I put this one on in my last video. So this is in the shade 235W. And I got this from Ulta Beauty as well. Love the angle of this brush. Like, oh, how easy. We are at 673 subscribers. And whew, I am so grateful for each and every last one of you that subscribe to my channel, that continue to watch me. It has been like so rewarding confidence wise and just overall building like my own little community of people. I love that. Like I wouldn't mind if it was one person, you know, and to have 670, 670 something people, I can only see us going up from here. Like I had like one of the best compliments last week. I dropped a new, um, youtube short and someone on there was like oh you, you know you remind me like when you talk you remind me of like a big like i'm talking to my big sister and that's really the energy and vibe that i would want all of my subscribers to get from me going in with my very dirty <laughs> very dirty girl because i don't know what happened like sometimes these things explode in my bag i'm not sure um halo glow the elf halo glow like i just need to get another one at this point it is too good but um yeah back to what i was saying i love being like a big sister or you know giving sis vibes i'm very much a girl's girl and if no one knows what that means being a girl's girl means that you are always looking for ways and, and just it you embody like wanting to see other women win whether it is um people you know or don't know you just like full-on support 
and, and love being happy for other women's success or, or just in general, even down to supporting them through any challenges that they may face. You know, social media, it's kind of hard to see things when they go wrong in people's lives. But a part of life is accepting that there's a lot of sacrifices that we also need to make. And so it's not going to be just every day you striving for a sunny day. Like, no, we have those rough times as well, you know. And you have to really pick and choose what you're willing to sacrifice. So, okay, I turned down my light a little bit so it's not. You can really see the color payoff here. Now my under eye is creasing a little bit. I'm going to go ahead and put a little bit more under my eyes and then quickly set it. In this color, I can probably do one more range. There were so many Fenty Beauty um, shades that I could have like matched with. But I also think about like when the makeup settles, you know, you don't want it to be too dark. Just depending on your... Your preference there. But yeah, being a girl's girl is truly just empowering. It, it, it's a good, a great, great feeling knowing that you are that type of way at all times. You know, no funny business around here at all. So I have my little powder puff. If you don't have these, go to Amazon. And I'm using my OG Airspun setting powder. So I love the way this smells. <laughs> been around for so long I like it a lot like a whole lot I have a new setting spray I'm trying so I grabbed the stay all night blue light micro setting spray by elf I just ran across this in the store and I was like oh this looks interesting you know that was my thought process there and this product definitely stays to shake All right, so this is infused with a self-loving ole and elderflower extract. Um, it's a, it helps to keep your makeup looking fresh all night with a matte, shine-free finish. Then it's like blue light just attracting my attention. I don't know why. Let me do like a spray test, okay? Drugstore, who? This is makeup on a budget, like, and is giving glam. Also, another thing, <laughs> this blush color was sold out when I first picked up what I could grab from Target. And I was wanting a very pretty pink. So this is Pinky Promise. Guys, let me tell y'all something. I'm going to bring the content to Tulum. I know I'm going to have to like go get a little bit of some darker shades. Put this on using my finger because the last few were very pigmented. That's not a problem, but you can always like layer on more. Oh, see, I'm always doing too much. Oh, yeah. And they have an orange, y'all. Like, I want the orange so bad because I think it'll be so pretty with like a bronze look and to add the orange blush. Oh, see, that is so, I knew I would love it. I knew it. I knew it. I knew it because it's just like a very soft pink. Of course, you can build it up for more pigment, but. If you need like a everyday pretty pink, this is it right here. Bring that down to the apples on my cheek. On to one of my favorite parts. I'm super excited about this because yeah, we need to give with the lips. Um, I got two new lip products. Don't know which one we're gonna try first. I grab NYX Line Loud. This is one of their lip liners. And this is in the shade No Equivalent. But yeah, these are very creamy. Very, very creamy. So you have to be careful when you're opening it. See how that glides on? I don't know. It's, I feel like my lips may be a little bit darker, but I, I like the color settle. So that's pretty. No equivalent. And then I picked up the Fat 
NYX Fat Lip Oil. Oh, I really like this color. It's different. Yeah. What do you all think? What do you think? Do you like this color or... I think it'd be pretty. This color would be pretty with a darker lip liner too. But it's still very neutral. So I'm not mad at it. It's, it's different for me. Right. And then the one I was like... I was waiting to try this. I'm stuck. This is the NYX Duck Plump Lips. Now, I was kind of shocked about the price point. I think these are like $13, $14. Oh, a little bit goes a long way. Yes, all of the lip plumping products always come with a little bit of a tingle. But this one isn't too bad at all. Like, I can barely feel it. So it's very doable. Like I can deal with it. What do we think? Do we like? I like the combo. Never mind. You know, darker for going out, but for a very everyday type of lip liner, I really like this one. Go ahead and sum up all of the new things and my favorites. I will actually show you my favorites. For one, just so far looking at the foundation, the Morphe is one of my go- Yeah, this will be a go-to. I'm picking her up more often. So Morphe Light Form, definitely a plus. I can't even lie to you. I was waiting for this color. But I have others as well. And this is definitely like a, a go to the camo, the e.l.f. camo liquid blush. Still a favorite. You know I love the lashes. I did those before I even came on camera. And I highly recommend clusters. Even if you're doing makeup on your clients, clusters is the way to go. It gives like natural. I could wear this more than one day. She is a gorgeous girl. Now... The lip, NYX lip pencil, I can do with or without it. Like, it's not that deep to me. Still cute, very, very cute, but it breaks very easy. I need something that's going to, like, hold its structure a little bit better. I can do without it. Lip oil. That one's cute, but I have a lot of lip oils, so... Do with that with what you please. If you crave a very inexpensive lip oil, then you could definitely go that route. But e.l.f. has one as well that's really nice and within budget. And then we have this Duck Plump. Still plumping. It's still doing what it needs to do, which I like. This is called... I didn't even give y'all the shade, so excuse me. But this is in shade number two, Bang and Bear. Great for an everyday or night out type of lip. And the e.l.f. Stay All Night Blue Light. It has a pretty mist. So for the price point, I think this is only like $10. Yes, it's the go. I want to thank you guys for watching my new drugstore haul, review, whatever you want to call it. I'm just so happy to have all of my subscribers. Thank you so much for everything. And until next time, I'll see you soon.